In this video, I would like to show you how to generate artificial time series, which we will then uh, try to forecast. So first, uh, open up Excel. And when you first open Excel, you will see a single worksheet uh, called Sheet 1. Uh, click on the plus sign to the, uh, to the right, so you will get Sheet 2 and Sheet 3. So for this assignment, we need three sheets. Now, to re uh, rename Sheet 1, right-click on Sheet 1 and say Rename. Uh, I'm going to rename this level. Okay, so now um, I have renamed Sheet 1 Level. Let's rename Sheet 2 Trend. Okay, so uh, this is going to be Trend. And then Sheet 3 will be renamed uh, Seasonality. Okay, so um, in, uh, in this worksheet called Level, we're going to have a time series that just has a constant level. In this worksheet called Trend, we're going to have a time series with Trend. And uh, in this uh, worksheet called Seasonality, we're going to have a time series with Trend and Seasonality. Okay, so let's click on Level. Uh, first, let's specify our time periods. So I'm going to rename this cell Time. Okay, that's the label. And now I'm going to say 1 and 2, okay? So uh, to extend this, I select 1 and 2 together. I uh, place the pointer on the right lower corner, and then I'll get this uh, cross sign. I click and drag uh, down, okay? And then I release it. Okay, so now I have uh, 20 time periods. And then I'm going to uh, uh, name the next column level. Okay, here I'm going to have uh, my level, which will be constant. So um, I enter 30. Okay, so now to copy this all the way down, what I can do is simply come to the lower right hand side and then I double click on this cross sign. Okay, so now all the time periods have a constant level of 30. And in addition, I need to have a random error term. Okay, so I um, named this uh, column error. And here I'm going to enter a, um, a formula. So um, I type equals rand between okay so this worksheet function is going to generate random numbers between two numbers so uh, open parenthesis minus four comma four close parenthesis okay so in this case um, the random number happened to be zero so then I want to copy the same formula all the way up to down here, okay, and uh, I come to the lower right hand corner and I double click on this cross sign and I have uh, random numbers generated, okay. Now um, there is a, um, a peculiarity in Excel where uh, now the, the numbers you see here are actually not numbers, okay, they're um, uh, results of a function. So if I click, uh, for example, F9, they will be recalculated. To avoid this, uh, what I will do is I'm going to uh, copy this column as values to the next column. So uh, I click on error, error, hold and drag to select this column, right click, copy, uh, I click to, on the next column, right click, uh, and then I click on this one, two, three icon, which copies only the values. Okay. So now, um, as I press F9, the function values change, these values change, but the uh, 
values that I copied remain the same. So we want to use these values that stay constant. So to delete this column C, I right click on it and I click on delete. Okay, so I have a level that's constant over all the time periods and then I have a random error term, okay, which goes up and down randomly and my demand will be the sum of the two. So I enter the equation, I type equals, I click on level, type plus, and then click on error and enter. So my demand is level plus error. To, co uh, to copy this formula all the way down to here, I click to the lower, lower right hand corner and uh, I double click on it. Okay, so, so now this is my demand. Now let's graph this demand to see how it looks. So um, I click and drag all the way down to here. Uh, and I click on insert, I click on the scatter plot, and I select this. So this is the type of plot that I want. And as you can see, this plot shows you that there is some constant level, and there is some um, uh, random fluctuations around it. Okay, so now um, we have generated a time series with constant level. So now let's generate a time series with trend. Okay, to do that, um, what I will do is I'm going to copy uh, time, level, and error. Okay, um, actually, I'm just going to copy time and level. I select time and level right click, copy, click on trend, uh, right click here, I want the values, okay. So then I'm gonna have a trend component, let's say my trend is one, okay. So that means um, every period I'm gonna add one more to the um, um, uh, level. Okay, so then um, what I do is um, I come to the lower right corner, double click, so my trend, my rate of increase is one, and then I'm going to generate random error terms, so ra equals rand between minus four, comma four, close parenthesis, enter, to copy this all the way down, I come the, uh, to the lower right hand corner, double click, okay, now I need to uh, make these constant, I s click, drag and select, so right click, copy, click here, right click, uh, this one, two, three sign, okay, so these are the constant numbers, these are the uh, changing uh, error values. So I'm going to delete this column, right click, delete. Okay, so my demand is going to be the following. So I type equal, I have a level plus, okay, and then I'm going to click on trend times time, okay, Plus, I'm going to have the error term added to the formula, and I press enter. Okay, so uh, here, as you will have noticed, we have added a uh, trend, which is the slope, times uh, the uh, time period. Okay, it goes up one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. So to copy this formula, I come to the lower right hand corner, I double click, okay? So now let's plot this and see if we have added a trend component uh, which is visible, okay? 
So I click on demand and drag down to select the demand time series. I click on insert and then I click on the scatter plot and I select this. Yes. So, so as you can see, I start at around 30, which is my level. And then I uh, have an upward trend that's clearly visible. And then I have some random fluctuations around this. Okay. So now we have generated an artificial time series um, uh, with constant level and constant trend. Okay. Plus some error term. And um, the reason I say artificial is uh, because we have, we come up with the numbers to generate this time series. So the time series, we, we know exactly how it is generated. So it's artificial. And then let's uh, do, uh, let's generate a time series with uh, level, trend, and seasonality. Okay. So I copy time, level, and trend. Okay. Uh, right click copy I click on seasonality right click here paste one two three now we're gonna have a seasonality component to this time series uh, sometimes what you type in will not fit the uh, width of the column so what you can do is you can go between D and E you will see the double headed arrow when you double click, the size, the width of the column will automatically adjust to include this, uh, whatever you have written here. Okay. So now uh, the width of the column perfectly fits seasonality. And I'm just going to make up uh, these numbers off the top of my head. So I'm going to say uh, we have four seasons. So... I need four numbers, which will repeat every uh, four seasons, so or four periods. I say the first period is going to be one. Second season, let's just make this uh, three. Here, I'm just going to say ten off the top of my head. Here, twenty. Okay, so I want this pattern repeated. Uh, over and over again. So I select this, uh, I click on copy, right click here, paste, right click here, paste, right click here, paste, right click here, uh, paste. Okay. So as you can see, the pattern repeats itself 1, 3, 10, 20, 1, 3, 10, 20, 1, 3, 10, 20. And then we need the error term. So error, okay, equals rand between minus four, comma four, close parenthesis, enter. Okay. And then to copy this formula all the way down, I come to the right, lower right corner, uh, double click, okay, copy. And then I select uh, this column, uh, right click, copy. I click here, right click, paste, one, two, three. Okay, let's get off, get let's get rid of the formulas here, delete. Okay. So now let's calculate our demand. Type equals. So first we start with the level plus. And then we're gonna multiply trend with time. Okay, this is our slope, and this is how far we have advanced in time. So trend times time plus I add seasonality plus error, and then I press enter. Okay, and to copy this formula all the way down, I come to the right, lower right corner, and then I double click. Okay. So let's see if this time series has level, trend, and seasonality plus randomness. Okay, I select the time series, I come to insert, I click on scatter plots, and I click here. 
okay so here uh, again uh, the level starts at around uh, 30 uh, you can clearly see seasonality but uh, also in addition you see some upward trend and then you see some minor fluctuations okay so um, so let's try to forecast these time series in the next video.